Okay, we have a question from Bauer in Hamburg, Germany. Bauer asked, Google is showing breadcrumb URLs in SERPs now. Does the kind of delimiter matter? Is there any best practice? What character to use best? You know, a less, uh, greater than sign or a vertical pipe or a slash? What should we use? That was a very good question, and we haven't really done a ton of blog posts about how we compute breadcrumbs. So I sent an email to the people who had done the blog post and sort of asked them about that. And the, the rough answer that I got back is uh, that you should have a set of delimited links on your site that accurately reflect your site's hierarchy. So the thing that I would add as color to that is it's still early days for breadcrumbs. Think about the situation with site links. Whenever we started out with site links, uh, it took a while before, for example, we added the ability in Google Webmaster Tools where you could remove a site link that you didn't like or that you thought was bad. So we started out and we did a lot of experiments and we've changed the way that site links looks several times and we have different types of site links, you know, within a page and, you know, the, the standard ones that you're familiar with. So we've iterated over time. So in the same way, it's early days for breadcrumbs. It's only just started. For example, I, I had seen some prototypes where it was in the rich snippet sort of gray line above the regular snippet. Um, and I think having it in the URL is kind of nice, but it could still change over time. So it's still a little bit early to say exactly here's where you might go in the Webmaster Console and suggest hierarchies and stuff like that. The best advice I can give is, is try to make sure that it is a set of delimited links and that it does accurate, accurately reflect your site's hierarchy. And if you do that, you'll be maximizing your, your chances. And uh, in the meantime, we'll keep working on ways to improve breadcrumbs because users do seem to like it. And um, if there's any changes, just keep an eye on the Google Webmaster blog. And I'm sure if there's any new announcements, they'll announce it there.